Ray Harryhausen, the stop motion animation and special effects masters whose work influenced such directors as Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, and George Lucas has died. Harryhausen was 92 years old. Harryhausen's pioneering work on such movies as Mighty Joe Young, Jason and the Argonauts, One Million Years BC, and Clash of the Titans was widely praised for its ability to blend stop motion effects, models filmed one frame at a time, and live action. Harryhausen was born in Los Angeles in 1920. From his childhood, he was intrigued by movies and animation inspired by films such as The Lost World in 1925 and especially King Kong in 1933. As a teenager, he built dioramas featuring prehistoric creatures and filmed them with a 16 millimeter camera, gently hitting the run button to move the film one frame at a time. Grammy-winning guitarist Jeff Hanneman, a founding member of the heavy metal band Slayer, died Thursday in Southern California of liver failure while recovering from a skin-eating condition after he contracted it by being bitten by a spider. He was 49 years old. Hanneman was in an area hospital when he suffered that liver failure. Hanneman leaves behind his wife Kathy, a sister, and two brothers. The guitarist was with Slayer from its founding in 1981. His breakthrough came five years later with the release of Rain and Blood, an album that included two songs, Angel of Death and Raining Blood, co-written by Hanneman. That was one of the 10 studio albums that the band put out over three decades together, during which they performed thousands of shows. In 2006 and 2007, Slayer won Grammy Awards for Best Metal Performance. Atlanta area authorities are investigating the death of Chris Kelly, half of the 1990s rap duo Chris Cross, as a possible drug overdose. Kelly, who was 34, died Wednesday at an Atlanta hospital after he was found unresponsive at his home. After paramedics took him to the hospital, a woman who identified herself as Kelly's friend told an investigator that Kelly had taken a mixture of heroin and cocaine on Tuesday night and that she had brought Kelly home to recover from his drug use. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office said that an autopsy showed no signs of trauma or foul play. A toxicology report is expected to be complete in three to four weeks, at which point the cause of death is likely to be determined. Kelly, together with Chris Smith, shot to stardom in 1992 with Jump, which spent eight weeks on the top of the Hot 100 Billboard charts. The the duo opened for Michael Jackson that year with his Dangerous World Tour. Singer Lauren Hill's failure to pay federal income taxes for three years has earned her a three-month prison sentence. Hill pleaded guilty last year to three counts of failing to file tax returns on more than $1.8 million between 2005 and 2007. The Grammy award-winning artist appeared Monday in federal court in Newark, New Jersey for sentencing. Hill must also pay penalties and taxes still owed a $60,000 fine, serve a year on probation, and possibly three months of home confinement. She must report to prison on July 8th unless her lawyer files an appeal of the sentence. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week.